wine weirdos. Uh, Christopher. We're checking out the, the very special wine, the Toucan Wines 2010 Carignan. Uh, it's out of the Evangelo Vineyard in Contra Costa County. Uh, this is from Doug at Toucan Wines. He's up in Arroyo Grande, California, which is mm -hmm. kind of that um, Pismo Beach, San Luis Obispo, Central Coast area. And for a little uh, backstory, uh, Doug has sent us some wine in the past. And we've absolutely loved it, so we're eager to get into this Carignan, let me he, tell you. And he has an interesting oak program on this one. Yeah, we're talking American, French, and Hungarian. I believe it's all new, too, and it sat in it sat in barrel for 21 months. And we decanted this one for, what, it's going on 15 hours or something. We decanted it mm -hmm. late last night. And, and and Mike's been writing it the whole time and evaluating it. Yeah, it was really tight and almost like, you know, that vinegary kind of, It was I was feeling the 16% when I first popped it, mm -hmm. just a little dustiness on the nose and nothing else, and it has opened up so much, uh, probably hit its peak around mm -hmm. noon today mm -hmm. and right now it's just starting to really blossom with a lot of floral stuff going on on the palate but it's let's jump far, on the nose yeah the, no, we get ahead the of nose is brilliant it, it it's reminiscent of past toucan and primary fruit I get a big dollop of plum but there's also this muddy asphalt with like flooded mud over it it's really mm -hmm. just very it's complex and decadent and I it's just drawing me in yeah and it's really, it's still pretty tannic and young on the palate, but there's a lot of fruit packed into here. Uh, Doug says this wine could go 10 to 20 years, he was predicting. Yeah, it's one you want to lay down. I could definitely see that. Yeah, I could see where the potential here is magnificent. It's showing, it's showing so wonderfully. You would never know the oak program on this. The oak is just as we've had in his previous reds. It's transparent, even for a young wine. Yeah. The oak isn't getting in the way. The tannin is young. It's yeah. It's tight. But the fruit, it, it's just so primary, and you know in 10 years this fruit's going to be, it's mm. going to be so Kicking. wonderfully yeah. integrated, and the acidity is there, the, it's so ageable. Yeah, right it's now. it's showing the, amazing right now. Right now it's showing more like a barrel sample. The oak is really present. Mm -hmm. Even on the nose, you're getting a lot of that sort of caramely, buttery yeah. stuff going on. But, but it's not oppressive at all, as I was kind of expecting. No. When it's, the alcohol and the oak integrate, you're mm -hmm. just going to be left with some magnificent fruit. Exactly. It's really an interesting wine. It's really kind of cruel to open the bottle this young, but mm -hmm. for the sake of reviewing, we went ahead. Mm -hmm. But uh, thanks to Doug from Toucan. Yes. Just, uh, two big thumbs up again. We're really big fans. We Huge like his happy faces. distinctive labeling. You mm -hmm. can really see the two And turn this bottle around. Every bottle we've gotten from Doug, he's personally signed. It's a, a smaller winery. Right. Very craft around. I mean, we're right. talking... He, Doug makes these wines. Yeah, if you don't, if you're not familiar with Toucan, you should definitely check him out and get on their list because he's making some high quality stuff up there in real limited production. Thirty two dollars, people. Yeah, you gotta check that out. The quality's definitely there. Good stuff. We'll be back with more on Wine Weirdos. Cheers. Cheers.